guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we're going to be reviewing the new Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation and Concealer. Before we jump into the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out. And today's one's going to go to Brandy C. Thank you so much for your sweet comment and for watching my cake video. You guys have shown so much love on it. So I'll try and do another one this week if I can. Definitely the chocolate cake. Right, so let's jump straight into the video. I'm going to quickly moisturize my skin. I do have to go to work so I'll, I'll be testing this for good at least minimum 12 hours at least please ignore this it happens I'm waiting for it to go away this one's just left a massive scar on my cheek okay so on the website I can see they have 50 shades in this foundation so props to them for that that's amazing buildable medium coverage foundation with a real skin matte finish that lasts up to 24 hours I would never wear foundation 24 hours and what, what scenario I never sleep with makeup but okay so 50 shades with nine shade intensities three master tones and seven undertones waterproof long wear feels like nothing flexible formula true to color minimizes the appearance of pores and vegan which is a thumbs up I'm just gonna put my hair away because it, it is bugging me I'm using two different clips but that's okay can I first just say the packaging is really, really nice. I think I paid around £30. Let me not just guess. I'm on the website. Uh, £29.50, I was right. It's gotten good reviews so far. It doesn't say what skin type it's for, but it's a medium coverage. Is it matte? I don't know, did it say? Oh yes, real skin matte finish. It doesn't really say, it doesn't target like a skin type, which is weird. But let's try it. I'm gonna give it a good shake. That's the colour on the back of my hand. I think I got a good match. The shade I got is 60CG. It's very liquidy. A bit more warmer than my skin. Oh my god, there's so much water in my beauty blender. So I used a pump there that took um it I guess it takes a lot to cover an area. It is quite thin, I think maybe that's why. I think what I like so far is that it is quite thin and I can barely feel it on my skin. It's not full coverage, I can still see that spot but it's covered it a bit so I definitely agree with the medium coverage. See I even got pigmentation there, it's struggling to cover that but I wouldn't put more like it's literally like skin. That's the foundation but look at that packaging. It is plastic but it's really pretty. Now onto the concealer, which to be honest, I had a lot of trouble with buying because obviously I ordered these online. The, 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 the shades are so off, like on their picture thing with their swatches, they're so, so off. The concealers come way much lighter than what you see in the picture, so just bear that in mind. They have 25 shades. Uh, Demi Matte Flexible Liquid Concealer with 25% more pigment and full coverage that lasts up to 24 hours. Um, I did get, I think it was 50NN, way light. I feel like if I went for 60CG, I should go for 50 something in the in the concealer, but no, that was way too light. So I went for 60NN. The other shades went, looked like the 60Gs or something, looked way too yellow um, or orange. So I got this one. To be honest, I'm going to compare to my Tarte Shape Tape because that's the one I wear all the time. So this is my Urban Decay one and this is my Tarte Shape Tape one. They're very similar, although the Urban Decay, I guess, is more neutral. I'm not mad at neutral these days because I know my Tarte Shape Tape is actually quite neutral itself. So yeah, they're very similar actually. Now, I did try this uh, concealer already yesterday. Oh my God, I have to say I was really pleased with it, but I'm gonna try today. Look at that, that just applies amazing. 
The doe foot applicator is so soft. Now it does dry quick so I'm going to blend it. I do have to confirm that it doesn't crease but I'll show you guys today. Unless it does crease, I don't know. I did have the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Primer, the new one underneath those. I don't know if that helped but we'll see. I don't know, it, it's very thin. I I was really impressed and I, I, I was quite surprised how like soft and smooth it, smooth it looked and also how it didn't crease um might put a bit more and the doe foot applicator is so soft so that's just helped me to balance out the, the foundation color because the foundation is a bit more my summer shade i would say but i'm really glad i got something that's a little bit light darker not too much Although, who agrees with me? I feel like summer's gone now. I really do. I'm really scared to do close-up because of this massive zit on my face. That base just looks so nice. It's so soft. Not super full coverage, but I feel like I've been liking that lately. Oh, don't look at that. It's so painful. I'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. So this is what the foundation and concealer is looking like. I've just put a bit of powder, bronzer, and blush highlight. Just a little bit there. I've only put mascara on my upper lashes so that we can really see the concealer. Although I don't really do that usually, but I don't know. I'm just so impressed with this look. Like it's so me at the moment. It's not full coverage, but it's enough to just make your skin look put together, natural. It just looks so soft and luminous. It's not glowy or anything. It's definitely more on the matte side, but not drying matte, you know? Because um, I don't mind matte when it's on in the hotter seasons because obviously I do sweat in my face a lot sometimes. So this is actually not bad. The color is really good. Like I'm just really happy with this shade match. I wasn't too sure with the shade of the concealer at first, but it actually works really well. It just brightens and it's not like gray or casty um but yeah that's what my face looks like i'm not putting much on my lips and when i go to work I'm, i wear supernatural makeup but yeah so this is what my skin looks like after all the makeup and bronzer i just think it looks so nice so smooth it's definitely poreless because i have a lot of pores and i didn't put any pore filler it's soften everything Okay, so it's now 7, 12 a.m. I'm gonna go to work, wear this for the rest of the day and I'll be back later on. And I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on this foundation and concealer. So it's now 7.07 .07 p.m. It's been over, I know, actually just about 12 hours, I think. Um, I, I just have to say, I'm so, 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 so pleased with this base. Like, I, I was checking various times through the day, but this looks amazing. The foundation is bomb. The concealer is bomb. I just recommend this to anyone. I have really dry skin and it just looks like it's a de definitely a demi matte finish. Um, I've got a glow there because I put my highlight. I do prefer more of a wet glow look, but everywhere else it looks controlled and not overly like shiny or oily because I do get an oily T-zone. Um, it stayed on pretty well, like, it's still on my nose and I touch my face a lot around my mouth it's still there the spot is getting vicious it's angry the concealer has like creased a little bit but that's just natural creasing I've got like eye booger I literally have the animals calling in all directions I'm going to show you guys a close-up I do feel like it's rubbed off a bit around my nose but everywhere else is just super flawless like I am not mad at this after a 12 hour day and I was in the sun and I was like oh my god my skin actually looks quite good regardless of this big zit on my face can you see what I mean like look at my cheek it's flawless 
This is the concealer. There's a little bit of creasing, but that's natural to me. Like, that's just my eye shape. When a concealer is really bad at creasing, it would either really, like, disappear in the crease, so it looks like really dark lines, or it will gather up in those lines and it will look, like, really cakey and filled up and it will give, like, bright white lines under your eyes. It's done none of that. It's just, like, slightly faded in those areas, but it still looks really bright and flawless. So, overall, I'm definitely going to give this foundation and concealer a good 9.5 out of 10. I'm that pleased with it. I'm that pleased with it. It's so, so nice. So comfortable. Good coverage for me. If you're looking for something that's full coverage, maybe this isn't for you. But you might like the concealer. But if you if you just want something that's going to put your skin together and make, you're looking for like a demi matte finish, literally. A medium coverage, then this is a foundation for you. Like... I'm not into like full, full coverage lately, so this is just perfect for me, which just makes my skin look put together, flawless, and it's just so nice, and the shades is on point. I also do want to mention that there's no smile lines with this foundation, literally none. I wasn't too sure about the concealer, but it actually works for me. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the new Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation and Concealer. I hope you guys found this review helpful. And if there's any foundations that you want me to try or concealers, any product at all, let me know. Um, I do have the Fenty one coming up soon, so don't worry guys, I got you, I got you, okay? Anyways, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.